Hi, I'm Casey with the University of Utah and Peak with another video. Um, today is going to be a core training um, with some intervals of cardio in between. We'll be doing some marching in place and some jump rope um, to keep our heart rate up. Um, the equipment needed today is um, a ball of some sort and a weight of some sort. Most of these are going to be body weight since they are core. Um, we're going to be using a basketball, um, some dumbbells, and then to modify, um, if you don't have dumbbells, we're using a gallon of water. Um, so there is a warm up to this, and then a thir and then it's a thirty minute um, video. Um, so we'll do twelve reps of each of the um, exercises, unless it's timed, and then we'll do a thirty second, and I'll make sure and heads up with that. Speaking of which, we should start the timer. And then um, all of those cardio sections are also 30 seconds. Um, I'll make sure and um, announce those as well. So let's get started with the warm up. We'll do, um, again, jumping rope for 30 seconds. We'll do each of these for 30 seconds at least or to a minute. Um, we don't have a rope, so we'll just jump in place. And let's start right now. Probably can't see our faces, which is fine, but most of this is on the floor anyway. Three more seconds of this. Okay. Let's move into a little bit of stretching. So we'll do a side to side lunge. Just try to get into it. Switch sides. Try not to bounce, try to be as controlled as possible. Do the other side one more time. Okay, let's open our chest and our backs. So cross, lean forward. Good at stretching out the back for this one. Okay, let's reach back, do the same thing in the back and go backwards. Bring your chin up. Make your chest as big as possible. Okay, let's start off with one more set of jumping rope. We'll do that for 30 more seconds. Let's start right now. To modify, you can just march in place. You can jump again if you want. Okay, and we are good to stop. Let's start with some Supermans. They're really good at working your lower back. For this one, we'll do it for 30 seconds um, instead of a rep amount. Unless you want to do a back extension where you kind of bounce up and down and then you could count 12, but I don't want to do that. Put your arms up, I, don't, I barely fit. Put your arms straight forward and your feet straight back. Lift them both off the ground. 
We'll hold it for 30 seconds. We'll start in five seconds. I don't really fit. Okay, let's start. Try to hold that tension like a plank, but on the opposite side of your body. Let's go for 10 more seconds. Okay, good job. We can rest for just a moment before we start the jumping again. Let's start in 10 more seconds. Okay, let's do it. Let's go for 10 more seconds. Okay, good job. This next one I'm calling a partner ball sit up, but you don't need a partner for it. What you'll do is hold the ball. If you have one, of course, do it without weight if you don't have one. And you'll do a regular sit up with your arms above your head though. And when you come up, toss it to your partner. They'll go down and you go down at the same time, doing the same thing without the ball, toss it back and forth. Each one is considered one rep. I'll count with. Okay. Let's start. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one more. Okay, good job. Let's do some marching in place again. Start in five seconds. Three, two, one. Just try to keep the heart rate up a little bit. About five more seconds. Okay, that's it for that. Bird dogs. Get on all fours, opposite arm, opposite leg, bring them together. That is one, so six each side. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. One. Oh, wait, I think. <laughs> Let's do the same side first, and then we'll move on to the other one. Okay, why am I confused? <laughs> opposite there we go. There you go. <laughs> and then together, and try to touch your elbows to your knees. Okay, okay. You should be contracting your abs for this. Alright. Perfect. I'll do four more.
Okay, switch sides. Let's do six on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. This first round will be mostly explaining, and then the second and third times around, um, you will know what to do. Okay, let's do some cardio again. Let's start right now. Side B's. We'll do six each side on this one as well. Get onto your side. Slight backward leaning angle. If you want, put your hand on your hip or on the ground, whatever you find to have more stability. And try to pull them up. You should be feeling it right there. We're kind of, you know, in the obliques, those um, um, abductors, and a little bit in the glutes too. Okay, let's six each side. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I do worse on this side. <laughs> okay, let's start right now. One, two. One more. Oof. <laughs> These are hard. These are hard. Okay, 30 more seconds of jump rope. And then we have two more stations. Okay, let's do it. Three, two, one. Let's go for five more seconds. Okay, good job. Side pulls. This is where we're going to need to use those weights. I apologize for not seeing our faces in this part. A little more crucial to see us on the floor than when we're standing. Take a heavy weight in one arm. Lean down and then pull all the way up to your hip. That's one rep. We'll do six each side. Good at working the sides of the abs, like the obliques again. Transverse abdominis. Let's do one more. Okay, switch arms. Make sure you have your athletic stance. Let's start. Doesn't feel like you're doing much until the next day. <laughs> Try to get something heavy. Is heavier than you think it is. <laughs> heavier than this weight. Okay, that's it. Let's do those jump ropes. Let's start right now. About 15 more seconds. Five more seconds. Okay, good job. Last one um, is the decline crunch. 
I suggest doing it on a couch. Um, we can, and I'll move up. What you'll do is put your legs up on the couch. You can either cross your arms in the front, open them behind your head. I'll cross mine. I'll get a little closer. And you just crunch up, make sure and lift your shoulder blades off of the mat or the floor. Let's start right now. One. Try not to pull with your neck or your shoulders. Try to isolate that to your abs. That was my 12. What do you want? I wasn't counting. Okay, you're good. <laughs> Okay, that is it for the first set. And that actually took us half of the time. So, three sets if you can, two sets maybe for the video. Have a little bit of a water break, one minute water break. Chill for 30 more seconds and then we'll start back up. If you want to keep your heart rate up, you don't want to relax too much, always do some more cardio. Um, run up and down some stairs, do some more jumping rope, um, whatever you feel like you see fit. Let's give it 15 more seconds and then we'll start with some jump ropes. Five more seconds. <clears throat> All right, let's start. I'll march this time. song too. Yes. Okay, Superman's. <laughs> it did coincide well. Let's right. start in 15 more seconds. We'll do these for 30. It's a little easier if you put your hands behind your back to do it. And let's start. <laughs> Just a little bit longer. Okay, and we're good to stop. Okay, jump ropes again. Four, three, two, one, let's do it. Let's go for four more seconds. Okay, good job. Let's do those partner sit-ups again. I'll take the front this time. Okay. okay. Let's start in three, two, one. Go down. One. Two. Three. 
Four. Five. Halfway through. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Did I just? <laughs> Eleven. And then one more, final one. Good job. Okay. <laughs> well, we're feeling it this time. Jump rope again, 30 seconds. Start right now. Burn those calories. Yeah, burn all the calories you can. Burn that river flow. <laughs> okay, but like, actually. <laughs> Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, bird dogs. Six each side. Let's see if I can coordinate them this time. They're also good for balance on top of the core exercise. You ready? Side we start with. Um, whichever you prefer. Let's do our right hand and left leg. Okay, let's start. One. Let's do 12 each side. Woo! Last one. Good job, switch sides. Left arm, right leg. Let's start. Twelve this side too. One more. Okay. Try to keep your back as straight as possible and that one don't arch too much. Let's start jumping right now. If you ever feel too tired of the jumping, just go into the marching. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Good job. Side B's. Shoot for 12 each side here again. Do it. Let's start in five more seconds. Okay, let's go. <laughs> One more for me, at least. Ooh, okay, got it. Okay, good, good. Switch sides. My bad side. Okay, let's start right now. Bend your knees if you need a little bit. Releases a little bit of that tension. Go for two more. Good job. Also corresponding to the end of the song, it's kind of nice. <laughs> the timing is just the perfect. The timing is just perfect for this playlist. Okay, five more seconds until we jump rope again. Ooh. We do have about six more minutes. Let's jump rope. We'll get through twice and do a cool down. Fifteen more seconds, I'll switch it up. Five 
five seconds. Okay, good job. Let's rest for 30, I feel like. Woo. And then we'll move into those side pulls. So grab your jug of water, um, you know, fill it up accordingly. Um, you know, obviously the less water there is in there, the lighter it is. I think a gallon of water is, what, eight pounds? I'm not sure. It's pretty heavy. Mostly awkward. Okay, let's start. Try to go from the knee to the hip. Shoot for 12. One more. Switch sides. Okay, let's start. Really pull with the side of your body. job. We won't be using those weights anymore, so don't worry about those. Let's start in 10 seconds with those jump ropes. What's your heart rate at? Why is it 143? Oh, uh, mine doesn't say. I have a timer. Woo! Okay, 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Let's go for 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo. One more station, deep high crunch, then we'll cool down. Thank goodness I'm getting hot. Yeah, it's getting hot. Okay. Let's start. 10 more seconds. Okay, let's do it. Shoot for 12. That was my 12. I got two more, I think. I'll do two more. <sighs> All right. Woof. Okay. We have about two minutes and 30 seconds. Let's do a quick cool down. I'll have her demonstrate some of the stretches you can do. So lay onto your stomach. Oh boy. And go onto your elbows. That's called the Sphinx Pose. It's good at stretching out your abs. And if you push up with your hands, that's called the Cobra Pose. Also really good for stretching out the abs. Try to hold that for at least 30 seconds. Yeah, I can feel it stretching a little bit. Should yeah. be, yeah. Your whole torso should feel that. Okay, three, two, one. Move into the downward dog position. Perfect, perfect. That's good at getting the lower back and the upper shoulders, as well as the hamstrings. It's kind of like a good full back of your body stretch. Keeping your back in line with your arms at the same angle. Make sure to give you the best stretch. Hold it for 10 more seconds. If 
you need, kind of move your feet around a little bit. Relieve a little bit of tension. You're good. Now move into a calf stretch. You can use the couch or you can stay in this position and kind of stretch them out individually since we did do a lot of jumping on our toes. How do you want me to just press back? Yeah, just press back. You can even use the wall. Might be a little easier to use the wall. Kind of push up and onto it. Like that? Toes first. Like facing the wall. Oh, like this way? Uh-huh. Perfect. Oh, okay. And you should, yeah, put your pressure onto your toes. You should feel it in your calves, kind of in that Achilles tendon area as well. And you are good to switch legs if you'd like. Oh, there it is. Yep, okay, there it there is. It is. So yeah, that was 30 minutes. Before. What was that? I've never tried this stretch on the calf. Oh, I love it. Yeah, and if you kind of lean into it, yeah, learned, like, the less your angle is on the ankle, the better of a stretch you get. Yeah, I learned something today. <laughs> <laughs> and you can even feel it back here with on this calf if too. You're like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, huh. that is good. Okay. So that is. All I have for today, that was a core training um, styled workout with a little bit of um, cardio intervals in between to keep your heart rate up. Um, could be considered a kind of hit core. Um, so tune into future um, videos for me in the future at the University of Utah in Peak. Um, again, I'll be experimenting with some styles, so look out for some new and exciting um, workouts for me. Thanks so much, bye.